The thorax essentially consists of all organs within the chest, so pretty much everything between the neck and the abdomen, including the heart. Most of us, when we train in thoracic surgery, we train in both cardiac and thoracic surgery, and some of us, like myself, choose to specialize in the non-cardiac part of thoracic surgery. So diseases of the lungs, esophagus, other parts of the chest which exclude the heart, or patients with end-stage lung disease who require lung transplantation. So these are some of the problems that uh, prompt patients to see a thoracic surgeon. At the Seidman Cancer Center, the Burns Juice St. Peter's facility, there is a team of medical oncologists, that means people who treat cancers with medicines, radiation oncologists, that means a team of physicians who treat cancers with radiation therapy, and surgeons, surgical oncologists, or people who treat cancer patients with an operation and we all treat these patients here in a multidisciplinary approach where all of our thought processes as well as taking care of patients gels with the other specialties perspectives. Much of cancer therapy is a multi-step process and if one has charted out the patient's clinical course ahead of time it's beneficial not just for the treating team but it sets clear goals and objectives for the patient himself or their family and supporting people as to what we need to do next after a step has been accomplished. In the last decade or so thoracic surgery has seen a major transformation from large incisions for a majority of our operations we have moved to performing the vast majority of our operations through minimally invasive approaches much smaller incisions the use of video cameras inside the chest and uh, uh, adopting newer technology including now robotic technology i'm a very active person uh, i have a large yard and i work outside from morning to night i began to get very tired no energy uh, i went to my physician and he said I needed a lung x-ray. I got that done, sent to an oncologist. I came to see uh, my oncologist and he told me of this new procedure, this VATS procedure, that, but he wasn't sure I was a good candidate. So I he gave me Dr. Peary's name and I went to see him and uh, he told me about this VATS surgery. Thoracoscopic surgery is minimally invasive surgery in the chest using lung instruments and a camera to perform operations which would conventionally be performed through open approaches. Dr. Peary drew drawings on, the, on a board for me uh, and explained how this would work. He used medical terms first, but then he said, well, let me put in layman's language. This is basically what we're going to do. We're going to make a little incision in, the, in one side, we'll put a camera in so I can see what I'm doing, and then we'll deflate the lung and pull, and pull that half right out the other side. With video assisted thoracic surgery, the vast majority of patients go home much sooner, have lower levels of pain, and are functionally uh, closer to baseline at discharge compared to open techniques. I had the operation and the next day I was able to get up and walk three times around the hospital floor. The nurses were absolutely fascinated. The reason they were fascinated was there was a man right next door who had just had lung surgery uh, and she said he's been in bed for four days. From a scientific aspect, we see that there is much less inflammation or inflammatory mediators that one sees after a major operation are released in much smaller quantities. So from a basic science or scientific perspective also, minimally invasive surgery is more beneficial. I went home in four days in four days and uh, I had a little trouble breathing at first and uh, I did breathing exercises and Dr. Peary came in every day instructed the nurses on how to do because this was new to Barn St. Peter's and he instructed them on how to check the fluids and what to do and uh, so yeah, four days I was home and I my recovery was very fast. I know of someone who had regular lung surgery and they had to cut totally from the front all the way around to the back. I have a little bitty scar about the size of a dime, not even that large, on my front and on my back and a little one on the side, I guess where the camera went in. Um, no one could ever tell I've had lung surgery. My experience here has been very good. The staff at the oncology group here at the Cancer Center is just outstanding. I mean, they're very supportive and very friendly very friendly and they're friendly to all their patients. I think that patients when they choose to make decisions about their clinical care should 
be well informed about the various options. So they should spend their time speaking with their treating physicians, explore all the options, and then be a part of the team that decides what it is that's best for them. And I encourage all of my patients to do that.